Da 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 Look at my fresh trim. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Donks the Bomb Bob Built for Theme Park News. My throat just went absolutely mental then. <laughs> Welcome to this very special video where today we're going to be answering another experiment question. What if theme park rides were presented strictly come dancing dancers? Okay, that's the question we're going to be answering today. So, before we get started, I explain the whole video. I'm going to tell you guys how you can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chell YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting if we do that I will release coaster channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So the premise of today's video is very very simple really. For those of you who don't know, Strictly Come Dancing is a television show where celebrities that have no experience in dance or have little experience in dance are partnered up with a celebrity, a professional dancer partner. So a celebrity gets partnered up with a professional dancer and they have to learn a routine every week. So there's different styles of dance, and I'll go through them um, in a little bit when we get into the video. But basically they dance the routine, it's usually about 90 seconds according to uh, the sites about Strictly History. And um, yeah, basically they dance every week, they get criticized by a panel of judges who are experts in dance, and Basically, it's, it's not really like, obviously there's like a couple's choice where there's like, obviously recently where there's a contemporary, there's jazz, there's street dance, there's loads of different con uh, couple's choice stuff. And basically, it, but apart from that, it's a mixture of ballroom and Latin. And basically they get criticised and then it's up to the public and then they get to vote in who they think should stay for the next week. Obviously the first week no one goes out, then it's the second week where the voting out begins. Um... And basically the bottom two go into like a dance off where they dance again and then the one who gets the most votes from the judges um, basically goes through and the other one goes home. So, and then they all come back at the end anyway for a massive dance with the cast. So, basically that's the whole premise of the show. Uh, obviously there are special weeks like Halloween, uh, movies, musicals, um, and I know that the Strictly Pros do like a special group dance. Uh, where they do, I, I know a couple of years ago now they did like Mamma Mia themed dance to celebrate, I think it was to celebrate the new remake of the movie or like the new sequel of the movie, I'm not too sure what it was. Sorry Mamma Mia fans, I don't know. And um, yeah, so that's just the whole premise of what how that show works. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to take the styles of dance taken from the previous series of Strictly and of course what's going to be the current series, obviously that's going to be uh, a shorter series because of this pandemic, uh, it's going to be nine weeks according to reports, but I'm going to take the styles of dance, not the couple's choice ones because I'm going to leave them, uh, but the ballroom and Latin styles and we're going to actually compare them to theme park rides. Now, I'm going to uh, open up about something here and I'm sure a lot of people will want to do this as well. I'm going to hold my hand up. I've always wanted to do Strictly. <laughs> I've always wanted to do it. It's been a dream of mine for ages. I'm a massive fan of the show. I don't know. I don't really pick up on the specifics of like what makes a dance that style of dance. Uh, so this video is going to be much of a learning curve as for me as it is for you guys. But I'm going to. I'm not going to lie to you. I've always wanted to do it. So comment down below if you want to do Strictly. If you ever wanted to do Strictly, like if you got approached to say to do Strictly, like comment down below if you do it or not. Because I personally would. But, this is going to be a learning curve for me and you guys that, are, that haven't really seen this yet. But we're going to compare these styles of dancers to theme park rides. So, 
Um, if a dance is fiery, hot, um, you know, steamy, uh, then we're going to go for a fiery ride. Of course, Alton Towers fans, you may know what one I'm going to choose. Uh, but uh, that is the whole premise of this video. So I thought I'd find some new creative ways to bring theme park content to the main front of YouTube. And I thought, you know what? I've done the Ultimate Team stuff with the theme park cards. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to spice it up again. I'm going to salsa it up again. And um, that was a bit of a weird dance. But... I'm going to spice it up again and I'm going to include theme park rides and say what if they represented Strictly Dancers? What Strictly Dance would represent what ride? So it doesn't just mean Alton Towers, it could be any ride, but I think with the theming and the backstory behind these rides in the UK, I think it's going to be mainly Alton Towers and Thought Park rides. Uh, but without talking, I've done enough talking, let's get into this video. So. Let's remind you guys about the different types of dancers that we're going to be discussing today. So the styles of dance that we're going to be judging today are the waltz, the cha-cha-cha, the quick step, the rumba, the tango, jive, foxtrot, paso doble, samba, American smooth, Viennese waltz, salsa, Argentine tango and the Charleston. So, let's get straight into it and let's have a look at what dancers represent theme park rides. So let's start off with our first dance and our first dance is the waltz. Now the waltz is quite a slow, uh, emotionally driven dance uh, from what I've seen. It's very... Uh, there's, I think I think one of the rules, I, I can't remember whether it's waltz or Viennese waltz, I'm probably going to have to get this right at some point, but it's one of those two where there's not much rise and fall. Um, I don't think it's the normal waltz, I think. I, I might be wrong, I think it might be the waltz where it's not much rise and fall and it's the Viennese waltz where there is rise and fall. I, I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But I think with it being a slow... Uh, emotionally driven dance we need a ride uh, from the UK theme parks that is slow that drivers emotion and I think the best thing that does that is a dart ride now dart rides are brilliant attractions for telling a story they have great animatronics they have fantastic theming in and outside the attraction so I think um, because the dance is slow and emotionally driven I think the emotion we're going to go for in this one is, we're going to stick with the waltzers theme, we're going to go with something that makes you happy, and I'm going to go with, I know we said UK theme parks, but you know what, I'm going to step out the boundary straight away, and I'm going to go with, it's a small world after all, at the Disneyland theme parks, I think that is a ride that makes you happy, it's a slow moving boat ride inside a massive building, it's got these fantastic, happy theming, and I think it drivers the emotion out really, really well. It drivers you a happy emotion. Uh, there may be a few happy tears, you never know. Some people may have experienced happy tears on It's a Small World, but I think overall it's quite a happy ride. So I think that with it being a slow ride and it's emotionally driven, I think it suits the waltz absolutely perfectly. So, I compare, in summary, the waltz to It's a Small World at the Disney theme parks. Moving in then to the cha-cha-cha, or as Craig Revel Horwood likes to pronounce it, the cha-cha-cha. Now the cha-cha-cha is quite a, uh, it's quite a difficult dance from the looks of it. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of Strictly pros or anyone that's done Strictly that's going to watch this and think, trust me, there's plenty more difficult dances like that, pal. But the cha-cha-cha, obviously if you don't know, I think the main basic step is one, two, cha-cha-cha, two step, cha-cha-cha. That's usually the main step. But I think what I would compare this to, because it's such a, um, a high energy dance, we need a high energy ride. We need something with speed, something that's uh, going to create forces, forces which are beyond belief. 
And I think what I'm going to do with this one, I think because the Cha 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 is one of the kings of high energy dancers, we need a queen of speed. And you may have got the reference already. I'm going to reference this to Rita at the Alton Towers Resort. That is an Intamin Accelerator coaster. Um, obviously, that's in the... Uh, now dark forest section of the park. It used to be in Ugland, of course, when Corkscrew was there before it was demolished. Uh, it's an intimate accelerator coaster. Opened at the park back in 2005. Uh, so it's it's been 15 years this year since Rita opened, which is absolutely astonishing. But I compare this, I compare Rita to the Cha 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 because, like I said, Cha 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 is a high energy dance from what I've seen. And um, Rita is quite a high energy ride. You know, it may not be the fastest coaster in the world, but I definitely think that it's it delivers emotion of forces. It delivers a pouring of forces. So I think for the high energy dance, we need a queen of speed. And I think Rita relates to the cha cha cha. <laughs> Moving in then to the quick step. Now the quick step, again, it's one of those difficult dances from what I've seen from the show. And the quick step, obviously, uh, there's loads of different types of steps in the quick step from what I've seen. Uh, I, I saw Karim and Amy's, you know, leap uh, during Mr. Pinstripe Suits quick step um, last in 2019, last year. Um, so I think that again this is quite a high energy dance i think it's got quite quick steps so again we're looking for a quick ride but i think what sets us apart from the high energy quick cha 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 is the quick step has very much class about it so we need a, a slightly quick world-class attraction and I think we know what we're going for here. I'm going to go for something that isn't the quickest, but it's it's a good, decent speed, like the quick step. And it's also world class, like the class shown in the quick step. Because it's quite a, an upper class shown dance in terms of the structure and the posture. So we need a world class, slightly quick attraction. And I'm going to go with one of my favourite coasters at Thought Park. It is The Swarm. It's a Bulger and Mabillard wing roller coaster that opened at the park in 2012 codenamed LC12. Uh, it's an incredible attraction. I've done it a couple of times in the past. I think there, were, there was actually one day, one one of my two visits to Thorpe Park, where um, I got it in about five times because it was so quiet. So I had an absolute ride cycle on one of those visits to Thorpe Park compared to the other one. And Swarm was part of that day. And it was such a great attraction, such a, a deliverer of forces. And the blood rushing to your heart and your chest and your stomach and your heart just pumping away uh, through every single inversion, every single turn, every single drop, every single element that you pass, whether it's an aeroplane underneath, a fire truck round um, through the billboard, all those forces and the heart pumping blood into your, into your heart. It, it's just heart pumping stuff. And I think that's the same emotion that you get um, when you do the quick step. So the quick step, I would relate to the swarm personally. So next up is the rumba. Now the rumba, from what I've seen from the rumba, is it's very much, I think someone else that did Strictly a couple of years ago best described this. I think it's like you've had an argument with your partner and then you, it's sort of like you make up. Like, it, the dance sort of makes you make up kind of thing. So it's it's very much an actor's dance. It's very much a dramatic dance that delivers so much emotion. So I think with this one, because the rumba is such, again, an emotive ride, I think because it's slow, and it's sort of like a very... It gives you a very slow-moving uh, vibe. Uh, so we need a slow attraction for this. Now, I would go once again with a dart ride. Now, because the rumba oozes emotion, we need something that oozes a particular type of emotion. And I think the emotion that I'm going to go for for this one, even though it may not relate to the rumba, is fear. 
and I think the ride you may know what I'm going for here for those of you who have ridden it it is of course another Thought Park attraction it is Darren Brown's Ghost Train now Darren Brown's Ghost Train is of course a dark ride mixed in with virtual reality special effects uh, visual effects illusion all created by Darren Brown at the Thought Park Resort on the former site of the Chief Ranger Carousel and the Thought Park Arena it is a it's good when it works, when all of the elements work. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, I think it's one of those marmalade rides. You love it or you hate it. I hate to say it, but I'm breaking the marmalade code and I'm in the middle of this one. But, I think with Darren Brown oozing the emotion of fear, and because the rumba oozes emotion of a different kind, but still oozes emotion, and I think with Darren Brown being a slow-moving attraction, and rumba is a slow-moving dance, that's how I would compare the two. Moving in then to the tango, and this is quite a fierce dance. This is very, very fierce. So it's very much um, like an angry dance. It's sort of like, oh, you cheated on me. I'm going to do this, this, and then this. That's what I get from my first impressions of the tango. So I think with this one, we need something that delivers an angry sense of forces in terms of an attraction. So I would go back again to Thought Park and I would go with an attraction that um, oozes forces. It may not be angry, but it oozes a lot of forces. So we need a launch coaster it's at Thought Park Resort. And you know what I'm going to go for? It is the Amity Raceway itself. It is stealth. It delivers so much force as you come through that launch. And, you know, there is that break sort of at the top hat. And sort of in the tango, you've got that. I think I see it on a couple of tangos at Strictly where they have like the slow moving heads before they go into the quick footsteps. Um, I think that uh, when you're on that top high, it feels like you're turning your head very, very slowly in the dance and then straight back down again into the uh, thick of it. So I think that the tango relates very heavily to stealth at Thorpe Park. <laughs> So next up is the Jive, and the Jive is one of those happy dancers. It's a very, very happy dance, isn't it? Um, jive, it's fast energy, it's a lot of movement, a lot of pace, uh, it's very, very happy, uh, and it's a very unique dance as well. It's very, very unique in my opinion, because you've got all these swizzles and hips movements and things like that, and it's all these like swivels and hand shives and things like that. I think that's what gives it a uniqueness. So we need a ride that's unique, fast, and lots of energy. And I'm going to go to my trusty pals at Flamingo Land in Malta, North Yorkshire. And I'm going to go with the booster bike coaster. That is, of course, Velocity. That is a high energy attraction. It's got great pace on it. It's got brilliant moving cars. And I think it's got that that happy energy about it so that's how i would relate the jive and velocity and plus the name velocity kind of gives it away doesn't it velocity high energy lots of forces exactly what you get when um when i see the jive being performed on strictly <laughs> So next up is the Foxtrot. Now the Foxtrot is quite a beautiful dance, isn't it? It's very, very beautiful. It's slow in places. It's got some nice, quicker steps. So it's like a mixture of the two. Um, so I'm going to go with a dart ride that's got a decent pace to it for a dart ride. But it's quite beautiful. And... I'm going to go with the sense of beautiful as the theming of the ride. So, for this one, I'm going to go with Alton Towers, and I'm going to go to a defunct dart ride now. Obviously, it's been replaced by the Alton Towers Dungeon. You know what it is. It is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory slash slash Toyland Tours. And I think that both of them deliver the same amount of beautiful elegance in the theming, in the interior and exterior design, in the storytelling. I think it relates very heavily to the Foxtrot and its beauty, its inner and exterior beauty. So I think that's how I would relate those together. <laughs> Moving 
moving in then to the infamous Paso Doble. Now, the Paso Doble is a fiery dance. I, my voice crap then. It's a fiery dance. It's absolutely on fire. So we need a fiery ride, something that's got some pace to it, some presence physically, and of course, force-wise, some pr a, a big, big presence, and something that's going to steam up your park. And I think we've got the perfect one. Hashtag feed the flames. It's Wicker Man at Alton Towers. It's got so much fire, it could literally be nicknamed Fire the Ride. Now, Wicker Man relates very heavily to the Paso Doble with its fiery attitude, its sharp turns relating to some of the moves in the Paso Doble that I've seen on Strictly. And I think that the Paso Doble's fiery nature and its you know, hot nature relates very heavily to the Wicker Man itself. So that's why how I would relate the Paso Doble to Wicker Man at Alton Towers. So next up is the Samba, and you know what the Samba is. Everyone has a party when they have a Samba. The Samba is high energy, it's got great characteristics, it's got fantastic positivity oozing from the dance. I feel like channeling my inner Bruno Tonioli. It's got it oozing into the dance. And basically, yes, I think personally, we are looking here at something a ride that is high energy, positive and oozes oozes happiness just oozes energy and happiness so we need to look in the dart rides category and we need to find a classic dart ride um and for that we need to go to our old friends of classic blackpool pleasure beach and we need to find a dart ride that oozes positivity and it oozes classic it oozes classic positive energy and i think the ride that does that is a classic dart ride of blackpool pleasure beach that oozes classic energy and that is my friends the river caves i have a positive mindset whenever i see the river caves is theming the music being played valley of the kings if any of you remember that one and i feel like the river caves is a classic dark ride that oozes positive energy when you ride it so i think i would relate the samba to river caves at blackpool Persia beach because of its classic positive energy <laughs> Next up then, it is the American Smooth. Now, the American Smooth, um, at first I thought it was a coffee. Then I thought it was a street dance type. And then I did the research on it, and it's not any of those. It is, in fact, a rather slow, emotive dance. Now, I've seen it on Strictly. I've seen it on Strictly. And, um, you yeah, know, those were my first thoughts before I watched The American Smooth, you know, before I knew anything about it. And basically with The American Smooth, because it's so, it's got a story to tell with that one. Well, obviously, every dance has got a story to tell, but I think The American Smooth is one of those dancers that best tells a story. So we need to find a ride that is slow and tells a story well. So for that, we need to go back to our old friends at the Alton Towers Resort and we need to find a dark ride that tells a story well at a slow pace. And I think the one that does that, in my opinion, uh, with a little bit of pace added to it in the ride system, as the American Smooth does in some places, is of course Hex, the legend of the towers. Now, Hex is a great attraction. It opened in the year 2000. Uh, manufactured by Vacoma, it is a madhouse attraction. I told you this important fact before, but it's very, very clever. Um, the ride isn't in the towers itself, it's actually in a nice building behind the towers. So, if Hex was to go, they can't, you know, remove anything from the towers itself, but they can remove the green building the ride system is hosted in. So, very important fact there. But, I think with Hex oozing that slow with a bit of pace in the ride system, uh, as well as great storytelling, I think it very much resembles the American Smooth in a ride system. So four more to go, and the next one is a Viennese Waltz. Now a Viennese Waltz is a great looking dance, isn't it? Oh my god, it's just as good as the normal Waltz. It oozes emotion. I think this is the one where there's a lot of rise and fall, so you do need uh, a rise and fall attraction. 
and I think because the Viennese Waltz oozes emotion as well as being very much a rise and fall, I mean this is just first impressions, I'm going to go with an attraction that oozes a different kind of emotion to the Viennese Waltz but includes that rise and fall. And that is of course the old dark ride from Alton Towers, Nemesis Sub Terror with the drop tower system, it's very much rise and fall. Uh, in a very different retrospect. Uh, for those of you who didn't experience it, it was an ABC Rides Dark Drop Tower ride system. Opened in 2012. You can see the building if you go down to Alton Towers now. But it is currently Project... Um, Project 8... I can't remember the name of it. Project 18, Project 42. I'll get it in the end. Project 42, I think it is. And... Uh, it's been it's, 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 it's been so long since Scarefest, I forgot all about it. Project 42, that's the one. It is a scare maze at Scarefest uh, for the last couple of years. So they took out the ride system and it's a Scarefest attraction. So you can see the building when you're walking down to Nemesis. But, you know, at the minute it is just uh, a Scarefest attraction. So you can't really go inside it. But, um... I think that it oozes that rise and fall, and again, it oozes a very different emotion to the Viennese Walls, but it does the job like the Viennese Walls does. So I would, in a way, in a strange, unique way, I would relate the Viennese Walls to Nemesis Sub Terra. <laughs> so next up is the Salsa. Now the Salsa, again, it's a high energy, high paced dance and it's got that you know that kind of shoulder jig about it it's got that kind of makes you want to join in i'm going to be terrible if i do strictly <laughs> uh but the salsa is quite a high energy dance so i think for this one we need again a high energy ride and i think something that delivers a lot of energy a lot of positivity and quite a bit of speed as well because the salsa has quite a lot of speed i'm gonna go with i'm thinking off the top of my head here I'm going to go back to Thorpe Park and I'm going to go with an inverted coaster that delivers a lot of positive energy when riding this through the jungle. It's of course Nemesis Inferno, a Bologram Abbeyard inverted roller coaster that opened at the park way back in 2003. And of course, this is, again, it relates very heavily to the Salsa. It's a high energy ride, it delivers a lot of forces. Uh, like the salsa does when you do any lifts in the I, 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 you do do lifts in the salsa I think and um, yeah I think that Inferno has that edge and that intensity about it the salsa does so that's how I'd relate the two really. <laughs> So just two more to go then and the next one is the Argentine Tango now. I'm going to be completely honest, I forgot what the difference is between a tango and an Argentine tango. <laughs> I forgot the difference already. Um, but I'm going to go with the same characteristics as a normal tango. And I'm going to go with something that oozes emotion, it's fierce, it's got a sharpness about it. So we need to look in the coasters category again. And we need to go over to Alton Towers. And we need to find the ultimate ride experience. The ultimate force creator. And I think you know what I'm going with here. It is the beast Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis at Alton Towers. Again like Inferno. It's a Bulgram Mabiard inverted coaster. But because Inferno opened in 2003. The original Nemesis needed to open before Inferno. Simple maths. Um, so Nemesis originally opened in 1994, um, built by John Wardley in the old Thunder Valley site where Thunderlooper used to be. Uh, the new beast was down there as well, and of course it became Forbidden Valley when Nemesis came in. And it's a great ride, it's an ultimate force creator, it's got loads of sharp stall turns, uh, like the sharpness in the Argentine Tango. Uh, the thing about the Argentine Tango, what I do remember, I've just remembered it, it's got a lot of impressive single-legged footwork going on. There's a lot of detail in the footwork from what I remember. So, I think with Nemesis, I think it's very detailed in the type of forces for each element. That's how I'd relate it, really. So, I think the Beast is very much an Argentine Tango ride. <laughs> And finally, guys, the Charleston. Everyone loves a good Charleston. It's got loads of, uh, you know, sharp, 
very happy, positive, expressive moves. Uh, it's got a lot of swivel, so we need a ride that's got a lot of spin. So we need a ride that spins a lot, that's got loads of turns, and is fun and enjoyable. And I would relate this. Now, these are just now all of these are rides that I've done. I have to point that out. So I I was going to go with a different spinning coaster, but I'm going to go away from the London area and go to the Alton Towers area, and I'm going to go with Spinball Wizard. I think it's got a lot of spin. It's a spinning coaster after all. It's got a lot of turns. It's it's fun. It's enjoyable, and that very much resembles the Charleston dance. So there we go, that has been this very unique video, what if theme park rides represented Strictly Come Dancing dancers. Now like I said, I'm sure you guys would have wanted to do Strictly at some point in your lifetime. I personally wanted to do it, I, I, I would love to do it, I, I would answer in a heartbeat, but I thought I'd use this time since Strictly's only a few months away to do this video and it's very nice doing these unique videos where we mix theme parks into something else and we sort of spice up the content a bit so it's very nice doing these videos now don't forget we've got plenty more content coming your way we've got loads of close but not forgotten videos coming your way fact files uh, news updates when we get some news out from theme parks and attractions across the world obviously we've got some uh, more stuff we've got an Alton Towers pack opening uh, coming in a couple of weeks, hopefully, so stay tuned for that. Um, and for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. My name is Coaster Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coaster life, keep dancing, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.